Aim Remember. a little bit further right. Ball further forward. And now you should be able to see it, right? Yeah. Now in. Now. At the oh, at the top of the swing there, at the top of the swing, this left shoulder as it goes up up to the top, what does it have to do to make it come out? It has to go, it can go up. That would drop it further behind. No right. good. No. We gotta pull that shoulder out and around. Pull that shoulder. That's right. It's still a right, it's still a higher right shoulder, correct? It, correct. Correct. So if, and you're not gonna move a wedge, right? Very much. No, 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 exactly. Yeah. But that most yeah, I know what yeah. you're saying. So left shoulder, Pat would go almost down and around to the left. Okay. So what makes it curve is that the relationship of the arc from the face. Could you do that more with the ball? Back? Back and or middle. No. <clears throat> because you've got to start it left. Ball's got to be forward. Has to be forward. Ish. So that, that face just matched the... Yeah, exactly. Matched the, or, or the... So we all know that hands flipping over like this does not put curve on the ball. It's the, if I'm playing ping pong, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, the paddle is straight, straight, straight. But the moment I change the path, I can put, puts curve on it. So the arc is what puts the curve on the ball in relationship to the, to the face.